Hi, Yale. Hello, hi. Fuck you, any mom, any sister, any job, any broke ass car, and that's just your car, Lord. Fuck you, any friends. <laughs> First of all, you were so sweet and complimentary. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's like my life has changed in a lot of ways, like, especially, I guess, in my career. It's like, it's weird to think of it sometimes as like a career because it's like just like my hopes and dreams and everything I've wanted to do. And it's like, just because my music is doing well, it, that doesn't mean like I need to be changing who I am as a person and, or even just be changing the music I'm making or what I'm doing. Like things are completely different, but I'm also like doing the same things. Just the opportunities are different now. Like even I'm still writing and I'm still like writing in the same ways that I would, but now I can have opportunities to write with different people. Um, and just like, people who have had more success like i don't always have to be like please work with me i'm begging you please maybe work with me possibly like that can be more of a yeah sure you know um and even with like shows i can like submit for bigger bands at times and like have more of a possibility of like getting the gig and those things are really exciting but i i still live in like the same house and i still do the same things on a day-to-day -day basis and so like i as a person, I haven't really changed, but like my music has. And so I think maybe that's why it's just because like I am still the same person and I don't really, I want to change as a person. I want to keep and continuing to better myself as a human being, but mm -hmm. I don't really want to like change who I am just because I might be getting some success, you know? It was, it was so fun to do. Um, yeah, I mean, even when I, I was like 15 when quarantine started. So like there weren't necessarily like 13 and 14 year olds like going on tour. There's definitely like a few, but I wasn't necess I wasn't the exception. Um, and so I was just starting to do like band sets in kind of the beginning, like January, 2020. And then everything kind of started swirling out and live shows necessarily like weren't necessarily happening anymore um and so when i had the opportunity to open up for when i cut it was so exciting because i hadn't done like live shows in so long and it was just so nice to actually get to do and it was my first time like just talking to people on a stage and having my own set of original music and it was just me and my guitar and my tracks on stage and it was such a joyful experience um and yeah, it was just so wild. And they're one of my favorite bands and I got to hear their music almost every night and never got mm -hmm. boring. I mean, I was also like so excited for the food, like just mm -hmm. getting to, I also like a lot of those places I've like never been to before. Like right. there's Colorado, Salt Lake City, Chicago. Yeah, this is huge. Like, there's so many places I've, I think I've only been to two or three places that were on the tour and we went to a lot more than two or three places. <laughs> so, that was exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't fully gotten, right before I left for tour, I did a full band set in Nashville. And um, I'm excited to get to do that again, but I kind of have to put my show together. So it isn't like fully put in yet. I still have to like solidify like the players that I want and like exactly what songs, cause I, I know what songs I'm gonna be releasing this year. And so like that, and then adding a couple more on top of that. And, but it's super exciting, just the thought of putting my set together and be performing in front of people and not even like being an opener, like being, that's the show, it's Gail's show. Like that is so exciting to me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I'm just really excited to like get it all together and actually like watch it come to life. It's not gonna be easy, but who cares? Who cares if it isn't easy? You know that you can do it and that's all that matters. You know, if you love it and you're not gonna love anything else in this world, might as well just give it your all. And if it doesn't work, at least you tried. That's all that matters. You never, I personally never wanna look back in life and know that I could have tried to do something, but I didn't because I was scared. I never, 
I'd rather regret doing things rather than not doing things. And so who cares if it's difficult? Who cares if it isn't easy? If that's what you love and you know that you can do it, that's all that matters. Yes, I have a song coming out. Oh my god, on Wednesday. It's Monday right now, the 19th. Oh, it's coming so soon. It's crazy. Um, it's a song called You're Just Horny. The censored version is You're Just Lonely. Um, I also will hopefully be having a body of work coming out pretty soon after that, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really stoked about it. The the second single is still kind of saying in the angry lane for sure. Um, but even like the biggest difference that I can say is like with ABC, I knew I was angry. Like I knew there are things that this person did to make me angry. I just kind of ignored it and like pushed through it for the sake of our friendship. But then when our friendship didn't matter anymore, all the anger came rushing in. And with this, I didn't know I was angry at this person. Like it took a really, it took like months of processing my emotions to really like figure this out because I was really hurt by this person. I was very sad. And then I kind of hit this like middle lane and then it went to anger. And like, there's a lot of such things that had to happen between us. And it just literally, he specifically like they did something and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about it over and over again. And I was like, why is it making me feel this way? Like, what am I feeling? And why am I thinking of this? And then I was like, oh, I'm pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and so like you're just warning is me realizing that i it, it was literally the like oh i'm mad at you that's what that is mm. i would love to just do shows and meet people and just <laughs> The culture, you know, like I don't really like to make assumptions about places that I've never been or even people that live in those places. Like I think it's better to just go and see what's literally right in front of your face and experience it in that way. And so even just to experience the culture, I think would be so amazing and just like to just be there and just to eat food and perform and meet people and like just be at a place that I've literally never been to before, that would be amazing. <laughs> I love you. I hope you're doing okay. And you do you. Do what makes you happy because your happiness is what matters the most. Nothing's getting through, so let me stay.